Welcome to Sparks. This is going to be the first video in a very long series of very short videos that is basically going to show you the basics of website development. So how to program in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order to help build a quiz website that will look something like this near the end of this video course. So I'm going to try to keep these video lessons as short as I can, but that means they're going to be a lot of videos. So if you're looking at this playlist and it's looking like really long, don't worry. This is pretty much as short as it gets in terms of actually getting a website that you can use and a website that you might actually want to make. Let's take a quick tour of this website. So how it'll work is you'll pick a few options and it'll give you an output. I know it sounds very boring at first, but there's a lot that goes into this and a lot that you can learn from this. So today's lesson is going to be basically just a rundown of what this whole course is going to be and also how to set up the website where we are going to code. I know that's a little confusing. We are coding a website in a website, but that's that. Like I said before, this is an introduction web development course where we are going to be building a website or a quiz website similar to BuzzFeed I guess and we're going to build it from the ground up so what that means is we are going to make this website with the assumption that you have no programming experience but if you do it's perfectly fine you'll probably understand a few things a little quicker than others but yeah that's kind of it in terms of the course so how about now let's set up the website where we are going to code our website so first things first, let's open up our browser of choice. And here we have our search engine of choice, google.com, or at least my search engine of choice. And you're going to want to type in glitch.com in the search bar or in the URL. This will also be linked in the description, so you don't necessarily have to type it. And you should have a website that looks something like this. So you're going to want to go to the top right, click on sign up, and just sign up. However, as you please, we recommend using your school Google account. And once you get a web page that looks like this, where you can start a new project and manage your projects, that's going to be where we are going to stop for today's lesson. So, yeah, thank you for coming along for the ride and hope to see you in the rest of the videos.